Hey, this is Enggar Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. In this video, we're going to learn something new but it's little hard for me like the beginner. But it's okay, we can do it step by step. Cool. So, basically, this is about the search view in the Android Studio. But this is the simple basic implementation. So, we don't need any design like the sketch app or graphic designer. It's pure of XML and Java. But in the next time or in the another time, maybe I can make it more beautiful in the user interface design. So right now, we just use the library from the Android Studio. Here, we're gonna to search foot, okay, and next, next, and by using the empty activity, and next and finish. So we're gonna to waiting for the minutes. Okay. Well, I think it's ready to begin. So we're going to activity main, and here, the default layout is constraint layout. Now I'm gonna to change it to the uh, linear layout because we want to make the item going to vertical. So we're gonna to remove this text view and input the list view. With the ID, uh, with the width, it's warp content, and this is warp content. Okay, and I'm gonna to remove this. Okay, and don't forget to setting the ID. My foot. No, no, no. The ID should be search foot. And we're gonna to setting the weight to one. Cool. So this is the basic of the. Uh, list view but I'm gonna to get the padding here oh sorry padding no I think it's only 20 okay and in the next step we're going to Java and here we need to declare the ID first list view set okay here this ID and here we're gonna to import the class okay and after that I'm going to use the RI adapter with the string in the value and the variable is adapter okay now we move the on create here we're gonna to declare the search food list view and this is find r i d search foot i'm going to check the import oh here i don't need this okay and after that we're going to go to array list string and because this is foot, so you're gonna to give the name is array foot new array list. And here, array foot at all arrays as list get resource and get string array and the array. We don't have any array so we're gonna to create it later but firstly I'm going to make it complete first so here we're gonna to import the class and here import the class and here we haven't created the array yet so just let it go we're gonna to create it later Okay, so here adapter new array adapter string and the value is main activity this comma android r layout sorry the r should be bigger so layout is simple list item number one and array foot okay and here search foot it's going to adapter for the values is from the adapter so 
all of this value coming from this adapter but adapter coming from this array so we're going to res go to values and string and in this string we need to create new string array name which is the uh my foot okay item this is pizza and i'm going to copy this item below of the pizza and maybe this is the jaco and this is the starbuck and this is mcdonald and this is kfc cool but uh, once you get back to the main activity the problem is solved because we already create the array here so the main activity there's no problem well i'm going to run this application into my nexus 4 which is apa 26 well this is the basic list view about how to use the list view in the xml and java and the problem and the question and the solution <laughs> we are gonna to create the search icon uh, behind of search foot here and then whenever i click the search icon that i can search my foot easily so how to do that firstly we're going to aries to create new resource file android resource directory and check it to the menu and okay now you already create new menu directory so we're going to create click right new and menu resource file search menu okay cool now we're going to the text here and here we're gonna to create item android id sorry item id this is the search foot Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, we're gonna to make it to the bottom like this. Okay, cool. And here we're gonna to create the title. This is for the search. This is the title of the navigation bar of the action bar. This is the title. So you can change it my foot like this, or you can change it to search my foot it doesn't matter and the uh, and the next it's icon so uh, we haven't created the icon yet so, but the android has provide for the icon which is drawable icon menu shirts and here app action view class android widget search view we use the widget from the android so so as action is always okay maybe you get the red alert here but it's okay we can fix it so how to fix it it's pretty easy here you're gonna to enter and xml ns app http like this and now it's solved cool so we already create the search button here but we we don't uh, we cannot use it because we need to create the function into java first okay and here we're gonna to create the something uh, public bolan so you just need to type rcom and on crypt ocean menu this is shortcut from the android it's pretty cool and here menu inflator and inflator get menu inflator inflator inflate and here 
we take a look for the menu which is the search menu and by the parameter is menu okay and after that I'm going to menu item and item menu find item is R sorry I have the problem here find item R I D search food and we're gonna to import this class okay so basically the item coming from the search food which is this one and this one has provide the values from these strings okay so yeah all of them it's relates so be careful when you declare the variable just make sure that the variable it's understandable from the another people so here search view and search view and search view item get action view and we're gonna to import the class but make sure that you import the android.widget not about android.support v7 widget just android.widget okay so here we're gonna to create the function again which is uh, search view otl no uh, ok this one ok tl and new search view on query text listener like this so you the android will generate the code like this so you don't worry about that and this is just make it return false and this is you can use the adapter get filter and filter s so this is the value and we throw this value to here to get the filter and after that here we return the super ocom which is the menu this is menu and this is menu okay so i think it's done so we're gonna to run this application again into the emulator all right so as you can see we have the search view here whenever you click p gco starbucks mcdonald it's pretty easy okay very cool isn't it well thank you very much for watching this video and i hope it's useful for you so don't forget to subscribe like comment and share it to your friends so nice to meet you from indonesia thanks everyone goodbye